You may have seen him on his skateboard. You may have seen him on TV. You may have even seen him climbing the shelves in his local supermarket or sitting on an aeroplane with all that extra leg room. He's best known for his work on stage, inspiring and motivating to the world and all it has to offer. Well, now you can hear him, JC, on his very own show, John Kudus. Instead of JC being interviewed, he's doing the interviewing. And the people lined up to have a chat with John Kudus are some of Australia's and the planet's most well-known celebrities, politicians and everyday people. Enjoy. Hey, guys, look. I want to introduce you to someone very special here on my left hand side. It's this beautiful lady here, Sally Patty. G'day, Sal. Hello, how are you? I'm going great. Now, Sally is the owner of Mogo Zoo, where we have had an exceptional day today. The wonderful experiences and everything that you have here. I want to start and just ask you a couple of questions. 29 years. Yeah. Tell me how it all started. Well, 29 years ago, on was. 29 and a bit now. Okay. Um, on Boxing Day last year, 26th of December, yeah, December it was yeah. 29 years that we have been open here at yes. Mogo Zoo. And of course, it didn't look like this when we opened. Right. We uh, had $4,000 in a dream. Wow. Know? So it was about four gum trees here, a shell of a shed, a very old house that probably should have been bulldozed. Yes. But. Um, that did it, was it always a zoo or was it like no. a native animal? No. No. Nope. Nothing. No, no, it was a sheep farm. Yeah, but what about when you when you started it? Was it always a zoo? Was your your in first intention to have it as a zoo, yes. or was it something else? A zoo, always a zoo. Yeah, we, wow. we always wanted to have a zoo. And, yes. And yeah, so that's that's what we went ahead and built, and it took us two years to get the licenses. Yes. It's a lot of hard work. It's been a lot of hard work yes. all the way through, but hey, you know. Um, Look at it now, mate. Yeah. It is. It is. I would have to say the best boutique zoo I've ever been in in my life. I mean, if you take away my family, because that's a bit mm. of a boutique zoo as well, <laughs> but yeah. it is absolutely sensational. The, the the range of animals that you have here, the accessibility that you have here as well, for people in wheelchairs or for the elderly people to be able to get around. There are not a lot of stairs, uh, and it's all, you know, pretty flat ground. Now, there's a couple of little hills here yeah. and there, but you've got to have those. Few slopes. Yeah, a few slopes. But, but we've tried okay. to make, you know, like where it is, we've tried to make other areas. So yes. there's actually different ways and means around. Yes. Yes. Because... And, and the viewing into the enclosure, like they are great. They really, really are great. But I think for me, my favourite part of today has been the up close and personal visits that we've had. Mm-hmm. Like we really had the cool, Mika, huh? the Meerkats. Yeah. What beautiful little creatures they are, right? Well, by doing that, you know, it not only gives someone an amazing experience, Yes. but it also helps to support the work that we do here, because yes. here at Mogo Zoo we have a lot of programs um, for exotic endangered um, species. animals and yep. species. So that was what the whole idea of it was in the beginning, that if we were going to do something like this, yes. and people were going to pay to come in to look at an animal in an enclosure, Yes. I wanted that animal to be you know, to, to benefit from that in some way. And yes. that's why we chose endangered exotic species. Because yes. we felt it was a, a real need at the time when we did start up. And we've gone on to, to we've got some fabulous, fabulous um, programs going here at the zoo. Yes. And that's what it's all about. And by people coming in and doing those things, and we only use animals that benefit from it, that it's yep. a, um, that, you know, that they, it benefits and all that money goes straight back in. Yes. I mean, you don't end up with something like this in 29 years if you haven't put it oh, all back in. I totally so, agree with you, mate. I totally agree. I think I need to bang my head against a brick wall sometimes, but um, <laughs> I think that's the way I've done it. Yes. And, um, and I think we have a feeling here at Lego Zoo. Yes. Um, yeah, I've never had the huge amounts of money. Yes. My uh, ex husband used to say to me, I had a had Dom Perignon taste on a canned Forex budget. <laughs> and it's true, but I try and do the very, very best for the Did animals. Did you have to say 4X? We... That's well, rubbish, mate. I know, but that's what I mean. I know, I know what you mean, yeah, I know what you mean. Sorry to your 4X people, but... Um, no, don't worry about 4X. I, it's yeah. the only, it's, it's, it's the, it's the... Yeah, yeah. You know, you know like, Dom Perignon. Yep. Can yep. of bed. Yep. Yeah, so... Yep. It, it, it's an amazing place. It gives me tremendous pleasure. And you know, it's giving, what, it's giving everyone that comes in tremendous pleasure. Well, the most pleasure that I get out of it now is seeing the pleasure that other people get out of something that I've actually done. Yep. 
and being able to help you today. Oh, and, and so. get, get, like when we built the meerkat exhibit. Yes. We built it so that it's wheelchair fan friendly. Yes. Because my daughter, who you met earlier. Yes. When she young was case. younger, yeah, yeah, young case, she had a little friend, and they looked like twins. Like seriously, they used to look at Claire and I and go, "Which one's been naughty?" Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that's how. You know, and she was in a wheelchair. Right. She, and and um, so I learnt way back then. Yes. You know how. Adaption. Well, adaption, yes, and just because someone's a little different doesn't mean to say that they don't have the same experiences. That's so right. That. Any other of the experiences here, if, if it's something that it's a dream for someone, yes, I will always try. We will always try our best yes. to try and make it come true. Yeah. You know what? Oh, this has been a wonderful, wonderful thing for us to do. And I, I want to say something. And for me, it, it, I didn't even know I was coming here today. I had okay. absolutely no idea. Your beautiful wife. Oh, you two, the other day. Oh, you yeah, two, yeah. buddy, conspiring uh -huh. together, right, yeah. to make this happen. And my honest feeling here is that. The staff that you have here, you know, the staff that we've come across, like Jody and Steve and Casey and, and Mink behind the county here and, and everyone else, and, and Joey down at the Tigers, you know, they are the bricks in this work. And you, my friend, is the strength and the mortar that hold it all together, you know. And I have to say, I am utterly impressed at how you run this shit. Because if other people had a culture, if other businesses had the culture of their staff that you have instilled in these guys, but in every enclosure that I went to today, every enclosure, the, the guys that were in those enclosures, they treated those beautiful creatures like they were human beings, like they were family. You've just listened to John Kudis's Rolling Success podcast show. Please make sure you subscribe to listen to all the podcasts and follow John Kudis on all social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn.